Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today are my July favourites. Oh my goodness, July is now over and like what the heck? Like how did 2014, like how is it going by so fast? I just don't understand. But anyway, I have collected a few things that I've been reaching for on the regular during the month of July. So I thought that I would share with... Blah, blah, blah. So I thought that I would share those with you today. So yeah, if you want to see what I've been loving for the month of July, then just keep watching. Okay guys, I apologize if there's any background noise. My neighbor seems to be cutting down a tree. So that's great. So if you hear any noise, it's probably like a chainsaw cutting a tree down. But anyway, we're gonna look past that and we're just gonna get, get into the favorites. I've been obsessing over the chocolate bar palette. I think out of all the palettes that I own in my collection at this present moment, I'll probably have to recommend this one if you're looking for a neutral palette, just because it is very nice. It has a very nice combination of shimmers, mattes, satin, and just it's a really, really nice and well thought out palette overall. And the texture of these eyeshadows are amazing. I don't have one shadow in this palette that I'm not satisfied with, but overall, if you are looking for a new eyeshadow palette, I would highly, highly recommend this one. It's not that badly priced. I can't tell you the price off the top of my head. I think it's like 70 bucks Australian. You can buy it from Kit Cosmetics and Mecca Maxima. But I don't know, I just think it's worth the money. It is a very, very nice combination of both shimmer and mattes, as I've just said. And I don't know, I just think it's worth the money. So if you are in the market for a new eyeshadow palette, I would recommend this one. Okay, so I have the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I did do a first impressions on this like way, way, way back. I'll link it down below if you're interested. But I haven't really reached for it very much until July or the end of June. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but I wasn't really into the habit of pouring solution onto a cotton round and then like cleaning my face. I just thought that was way too time consuming and makeup wipes is just so much easier. But I actually ran out of them. Like I had none left in my house, but I did have this and I had some cleansing, um, some cotton rounds. So I was just using that and I've really, really been enjoying it again. Like I've never thought it was a bad product, but I've definitely been reaching for it a lot more in July. Foundation. Now I've been obsessing over the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. I've just recently uploaded a first impressions on this, so I won't talk about it too much. I'll link that down below. But basically I've been gravitating towards this every single time that this has matched me. Obviously I'm not wearing it today because I am like white compared to this foundation. But yeah, I absolutely adore this foundation. I've been reaching for it all the time when I'm fake tanned. And just for reference, I have mine in the shade F200, which is the second lighter shade, which is kind of a bummer, because look how dark it is, like super dark. Velour Lips. Oh my goodness, I've been obsessed with the Velour Lip oh, blah, blah, in the shade Paris. It's just a nice brownie, pinky nude color. Comes with a doe foot applicator, smells amazing, and yeah, you definitely get value for money. They last a long time. They're good pigmentation, and I don't think I can ask for more from this lip cream. And again, that was in the shade Paris. Back to eyes. I've been loving the Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Eyeshadow Pencil Stick in the shade Zero. I swear everything is happening around my house right now. It is so noisy. Okay, so I've been obsessing with the Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Eyeshadow Stick in the shade 03 Champagne Toast. Now this thing is so cool. It's one of those jumbo, jumbo eye crown sticks and the color is just so, so beautiful. It's that there, it's like a pinky champagne color and it just lasts so long on the eyes without creasing, without fading. I absolutely adore these. I wear them with eyeshadow or without. They still look beautiful and if you haven't checked them out, definitely check them out because they're great. Primer. now. My drugstore haul will be up with this soon-ish, we'll see when, but I recently picked up the L'Oreal Nude Magique Blur Cream, and it claims to be an instant flawless perfecter, and I really, really like it. I find it really, really comparable to the Benefit Professional. It's probably not as good, but it's still very, very nice considering the price difference, so I really, really enjoy this. And yeah, I don't think I need to talk much more about this. I'll probably do a review on it soon. Okay, so the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light. I have been using this so much this month, and I'm not really too sure why. This is the older packaging, which I prefer. 
Love her. This is the older packaging, which I prefer much more than the new packaging, which I don't really like. I like how it has a mirror, but it just overall doesn't look nice to me. But I've been using this so, so much. I've been using it under my eyes when I'm tanned. And I've been using it all over my face when I'm this color. It's what I have on as a powder today. It doesn't really mattify for long, but it does set your foundation into place, which I do like. Now, finally, bronzer. I've been loving the Physicians Formula Glam... Well, that's not what it's called. Bronzer. I've been obsessing with the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I have mine in the shade Light to Medium. This is what the powder looks like. I recently hauled this. And I use this for when I'm pale and when I'm tanned. I am wearing it today in conjunction with another bronzer. But I also wear it when I'm also this dark as well. So, yeah, overall, I really, really like this bronzer. I think it's highly worth the money. And I just overall think it's a very, very good bronzer. Okay, guys, so that seems to be all my beauty favorites for the month of July. I was going to say May, and I don't know why. But, yeah, that's all my beauty favorites for the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to let me know what your favorites for the month of July were in the comments down below. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.